traditionally seasoned pretzels. They've been excellent. In last year's playoffs, Mike Malone took umbrage with the media's interest in the Lakers. And at the championship parade, he lit up when broadcaster Vic Lombardi referred to him as, and I quote, the Lakers' daddy. Well, here he is, respectfully, on Denver's success against the Lake Show. Take a listen. There's 16 teams in the postseason, and there's 15 teams trying to take what we have. We have to understand that. Like, this is not going into round one, game one. They're like, there's, there's a bullseye on our back, even more so now. Like, the, the league's been cut in half almost, and uh, we have a responsibility to understand that. The L.A. is – we, we swept them last year. We swept them this year. They're coming in not only playing well but really hungry, and they want to flip that script. That's fair. More likely L.A. upset or yet another Denver sweep? Before I answer, Brew, I like that version of Michael Malone. I do. That's your guy. I know you've known Michael Malone a long time. I didn't, you know, I wasn't a huge fan of the Lakers daddy stuff. I wasn't a huge fan of him going on McAfee, mocking the idea that the greatest player ever after year 20 might contemplate for a few days retirement. I didn't like that. That version of Michael Malone I like. Uh, my answer is obviously it's more likely a Lakers upset because I picked it. Wilds also thought about picking it because we have a picture of him holding up the Lakers <laughs> in six things trick. that we, people we, should we share far tricks. and wide. <laughs> um, but Wilds, yeah. what's your answer? Because I have a proposition for you depending on it. Well, I would say, you know, I could see the Lakers winning a game. No, but that's not the question, buddy. You, yeah, you asked the question. The I will now ask it. This is a binary thing. Is it more? Do you think well, it is? They can't win, so Nuggets sweep. Nuggets sweep. It's impossible okay. for them to All win. All right, shaved wow. head bet. Shaved head bet. Wow. If the Nuggets well, sweep, well, there, there's, a lot of, of, there's a lot of worlds, Wilds, where oh, neither so happens. I got you. Wait, bro. Let's stop it. I got to take, the, I gotta take the viewers it. behind the curtain. Thank you. Bro, <laughs> what do you I mean? Shave head bet. What do you you mean? were about to shave your head anyway. No, no I don't want to. you to shave But I don't head. want to. You Whatever the white I don't was, want, that's not, what you're doing. On, uh, it, listen. <laughs> no one's shaving Hold on. their head. Wilds. You I can, don't want to Wilds, listen. Here's the deal. You don't have to worry about it. Because you said no one's beating them in a seven-game series. It's the only thing of relevance you've tweeted other than pod promos in the last ah! two years. So, it's a free roll for you. It's a free roll. I'm not what shaving is, my head. Well, Nick, uh, uh, crash the car, drive your car into the Hudson River <laughs> bed. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. Uh, <laughs> we're we're uh, a Jamal, Jamal Murray knee injury from, the, from, from things what? going sideways. The, I've been on the record of that. The Nuggets health, have to be healthy. You know what? I'll give, you a health out. Player, I'll give you a health out. I'm not shaving okay, my head. So the, I don't, I don't feel a lot like, of confidence. Yesterday you, you had to use Wiles magic tricks. You know serious about his looks. I, 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 he he was get head. kicked out of the handsome I, boys club. Men. <laughs> men. <laughs> the handsome men's club. I'm 50 called. years old. Oh, for God's sakes. All right. Can I we're make talking it statistics broke. or are we talking I, carnival games? No. Well, la listen. <laughs> I guess the, the, the point I would make is I think last year's sweep was incredibly statistically unlikely. Any series where the win probability for the game right. is around 50% in every single game at the five-minute mark, right. one team winning all of those games is incredibly unlikely. There's a term for that. No, you created what that. Close term. sweep. Uh, the, it, it was, was a close it sweep. Was a su you know what, bro? I'll meet you halfway. It was a sweep. <laughs> where every single game was close. <laughs> if you consider that a close sweep, so be it. And so uh, I, I think there are reasons to believe the Lakers can win. Obviously, there are more reasons to believe for the general public and for everyone seemingly but me that the Nuggets can win. I think a sweep would be incredibly unlikely, or is incredibly unlikely, is. and would be very you surprising. You think a sweep is unlikely? I, I'm not, I'm not, You're not <clears> I sweep. think the Lakers can get a game. Okay. Yeah. You Go. got them in five. This is a tough question. Because I do – look, if the Lakers somehow win this series, I think they're the favorite, in, in my book at least, they're the favorite to win it all. Like, I think they would beat Boston or who, if Boston yeah. comes out of the East, assuming they do. Um, but I also think Denver's going to win the series. I, I said five yesterday. This is my official six. Six. Denver and six. So, to answer this question, though, you're right about the statistical improbability of the sweep. Look, the last well, – well, Believe it or not, that was the first sweep that Michael Malone and Jokic have had. And here's the kicker. That was the first series sweep 
in Denver Nuggets history that they won. They've been swept, but that was the first one they won. So, look, I think the Lakers, you know, it's riding a lot on Mm D'Lo. You know LeBron's going to play well. He might, I think he could get tired and fade. I was surprised that I thought he just faded in the fourth quarter Mm -hmm. against New Orleans. So that's a possibility. Um, I, I, I'm going to go with a Lakers victory. I, I give the Lakers about a 20, 20 to 25% chance of winning the series. Right. So I'm going to say you think the that's, Lakers. You think there's a better chance yeah, Lakers better chance upset than, than Denver sweeps? You think there's a 20% chance they win. How does that happen? That's what Vegas thinks too, by the way. That's not a crazy thing by him. They, they, I think they're like, again, I, I, I mean, think they, they would, Dallas is up there. But I think the Lakers would become I, the favorite if they were winning. But, but this but so that shows you how good they are. Listen, since the, the this year, the Lakers have the best record in the league in close games or in one, the games decided by single digits. Denver is second since the All Star break, the, the or since the February first, I should say. Pardon me when they changed the when the change the starting lineup. It is third, fourth, fourth, third, second, fourth in every major category, whether it's record. Offensive rating, field goal percentage, Denver Lakers toggling back and forth. Since the Lakers went to this five-man starting lineup they should have had all year, Mm -hmm. they have been an outstanding team. Now, Denver has been better than them all year, no doubt about it. But underdogs win playoff series. Sure. And we saw the Lakers as a seventh seed last year get to the conference finals. So, your, your assertion that it's an impossibility is why I thought you would put your hair where your mouth was and make a bet where you had a total free roll. I'm shocked you wouldn't because you're it's about to present a, me a million stats. Go ahead about why the Nuggets no, can't I just, lose. I, we talk a lot about Joker and Jamal Murray and how well they play. So we had Josh pull up like, hey, how well do they do? Well, it turns out the other, the rest of the Nuggets do just wow. as well. So then we, we wow. kind of extrapolated out. I said, Josh, can you show me each guy? Well, Murray goes for 30, shoots 50%. KCP shoots 50%. Wow. And PJ shoots 49%. He takes a lot wow. of threes. Aaron Gordon shoots 55%. He's catching a lot of dunks right next to the rim. And Joker shooting 55%. 54%. They're numbers, Wilds. They're pretty job. good. Now, you might say, well, Wilds, is the Lakers' defense better than this year, or this year or better last year? Well, they're actually better last year. Last season, they were 12th. This year, they're 17th. So, the defense has gotten worse. The Nuggets, that was during their eight-game win streak. They're they still excellent. And I know we're saying it's all on Joker and Jamal Murray. But when you watch the game, it's like, oh, there's Aaron Gordon. There's MPJ no, I, hitting a big three. Oh, KCP, former Laker, little revenge games. I do. It's almost universally believed, Nick, that the Nuggets were better last year. I, I reject that. They're better in the clutch this year, offensively and defensively. I think Christian Brown has stepped up. Now I get Bruce Brown was big in that series. Mm-hmm. Jeff Green was pretty big, but he, you know, he's older. But I think Peyton Watson, I, I like him. Like I, I, I don't think they're worse. And I also think now they have the knowledge we've won. You know, you get that swagger, that belief from winning the championship. So maybe it's I don't think Jamal Murray is going to average 33 a game on 55. percent I don't.